The Castlevania series has a long bloodline of monster slaying that spanned nearly three decades with a multitude of releases on countless platforms. Famous creatures like zombies, werewolves, and Dracula himself have all fallen one by one to the famous whiplash of the Belmont family and their allies. But have you ever stopped to consider who actually works on the popular series? Or rather, what geniuses crafted the original NES classic? Over the past few decades, scores of talent worked on the popular Konami franchise, including Toru Hagihara, Koji Igarashi, and most recently Mercury Steam tried their hand in the Lords of Shadow trilogy. However, there is a mystery surrounding the development team that worked on the first Castlevania game. That's because aside from a few personnel, we have no idea who actually created one of the most memorable NES games of all time. Don't believe us? Just pay attention after defeating Dracula when the credits begin to roll. Names begin to appear like most credits, but there's something unusual about these titles. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that many of the names are satirical. There's Trans Fishers, which is a reference to Terence Fisher, a director of many Hammer Studios horror films, and Bram Stoker, a spoof of Bram Stoker, the author of the 1897 classic novel Dracula. One other oddity is that Simon Belmont's name appears as Simon Belmondo. This is likely due to the fact that his original name in Japanese is Shimon Baramondo. The likely reason the names of the developers were hidden was to protect the talent from being poached by other companies, or to prevent the developers from demanding more money for their work. Going by pseudonyms was the standard for Japanese developers at the time, so if you go back and look at many of your favorite Capcom, Nintendo, and Konami classics, you'll see your fair share of bizarre aliases. The only difference is that, looking back, how many of those names were easy to guess. However, in the instance of Castlevania, those names were parodies, and thus don't give us much insight into who did what. Many believe that Hitoshi Akamatsu was the mastermind behind the project, but the man has proven elusive for even the staunchest journalists after vanishing from the public eye in the 1990s. So while we may chuckle at the amusing credits in Castlevania, here's hoping that one day soon we can finally pay our respects to the development team behind one of gaming's iconic series.